When will the coronavirus pandemic end? This is now one of the most frequently asked questions in 2020. The end of any pandemic generally depends on a number of factors. The first factor is how much knowledge we have gathered about the virus itself. The more knowledge we have about the virus, the faster we can get rid of it. Such knowledge would be useful in developing an effective and safe vaccine. It seems that we got lucky that this novel coronavirus shares a huge similarity to previously studied coronaviruses called SARS and MERS. This allowed scientists to gather enough knowledge about the virus in a short time, which came in handy in speeding up the development of the vaccine. The second important factor is the industrial capacity to mass produce the vaccine. Developing a vaccine against the coronavirus is just the first step towards ending the pandemic. The vaccine will have to be mass produced and distributed globally. Thousands of health workers will have to be recruited to help in distributing and administering the vaccine. The logistics that follow the development of the vaccine might take longer than developing and testing the vaccine itself. So the faster we do this step, the faster we get rid of the pandemic. One of the vaccines that are currently being tested is the Oxford vaccine, which is in phase two and three human trials. The team behind it believes that it could be ready by September or August of this year. This might be a premature conclusion because vaccine development is as hard as rocket science. The vaccine might fail in the very last step, which will render all previous work invalid and forces us to start over. But let's be optimistic because over 160 companies are working on a vaccine. If one fails, another might succeed. Some experts believe that the earliest vaccine for the coronavirus would be ready is December 2020. So the second half will most likely just provide us an idea of whether a vaccine is effective or not. If a vaccine is effective, then the logistics that will follow, including mass production, would probably take another three to six months. That being said, the vaccine would likely be ready for distribution by mid-2021. The third factor is the virus itself. The virus could either mutate to become more aggressive or less aggressive. If the virus mutates and the new mutations cause it to become more aggressive, all the work on the vaccine would go in vain. This will lead to a major delay in ending the pandemic. If the virus mutates in a way that makes it less aggressive, then COVID-19 infections would become mild and less lethal, which will help us end the pandemic with fewer deaths. As far as we know, the coronavirus is mutating slowly, and its mutations are not happening at key sites of its genome, which means the virus itself is not evolving into an aggressive version of itself. Because of this, scientists believe that a single vaccine would be sufficient to get rid of it, which will help us end the pandemic faster. The fourth factor that determines how soon this pandemic will be over is how willing are you to maintain social distancing. Now think about it for a minute. Millions of people are out there ever since countries decided to reopen. But they are not practicing social distancing. They form very large crowds that lead to more cases. An explosion of cases means the healthcare system's capacity to take in new patients will be disrupted. Such disruption can cause a delay in getting rid of the pandemic because all the resources and energy will have to be shifted towards treating the new cases. Many countries spend billions of dollars in order to deal with the pandemic, and that's just to treat new cases. Such resources can be channeled into developing and mass-producing a vaccine. So the best is to play it safe. We should continue social distancing as much as possible until an effective and safe vaccine is ready for everyone. The fifth and the final factor is how willing are you to wear your mask? Remember what we just said about an explosion of cases and shifting resources to treat new cases? 
that can be prevented by wearing your mask. It is a simple task that doesn't require a lot of effort. Latest studies and recommendations from experts show that masks can help in reducing community transmission of the coronavirus. The virus can even spread through talking. Aerosols that carry the virus can remain suspended in air for up to 14 minutes. So, if everyone started wearing their masks, the transmission of the virus will go down. This means fewer cases, and this consequently means resources can be better spent in developing, testing, and mass-producing the vaccine. There are a number of models that predict the end of the pandemic. But these models are as good as the data you feed into them. Early models did not take into account relaxing the lockdown measures, which is why most of them failed to provide accurate predictions and have become invalid. Now that lockdown measures have been relaxed and new data have been gathered, new models have come out. At the heart of the pandemic, the peak number of daily cases was 70,000 to 80,000 cases a day. After relaxing the restrictions, the number of daily cases jumped above 150,000 cases a day. In other words, there is a massive increase in cases that went up beyond what early models predicted, which means it's difficult to rely on these models to conclude when the pandemic will end. One thing for sure, if we get a new peak and a stronger second wave, the healthcare system of almost every nation would have difficulty in coping up with the new cases, and we might end up going back to step one in our fight against the coronavirus. In other words, another lockdown. All in all, the pandemic will end when a vaccine is ready. And who will that be? Well, it depends on how we handle social distancing measures in the coming few months. If everything goes as planned, we could have a vaccine either by the end of this year or mid-2021, the earliest. Until then, we will need to do our part and continue practicing social distancing whenever possible.